When I first got home, I had got me a job before the YouTube shit. Mm. You see, I was doing demolition. Okay. And then, um, like I said, I posted that shit online. It went viral, and I stayed off the line for a whole year. Wasn't on YouTube for a year. You took the video down at some point? No, I left you them left up. It up. I left okay. them both up. But then, and then by the time when a year went by, I looked, I was, and then I seen my email, and it said, you're eligible for monetization and shit like that, I guess, from the views and the watch time and all that. So I was like, let me see if I can submit this shit and see if maybe I can make something out of YouTube. And then bought me my first laptop I ever had. Bought a laptop. Boom, put everything together. Got it in rotation. So when you were locked up, you weren't thinking about the fact that there were all these prison YouTubers nowadays? No, not at all. I just wanted my own footage of what I've been through. You know, just to show what it's really like. Because it was mind-blowing how things you see on TV isn't what it's like. Right. So to me, it's like I want proof to show that it isn't like you see in movies. What you see online and all that shit, that shit be lies. So I was just keeping it for myself. And I put it on YouTube, not thinking nothing of it. You know, so it wasn't like planned to like go viral like it did. But to me, it was just my own good to show I was hanging out, you know, mm. people joke me like, oh, you're probably getting your shit taken in there or, or you people are beating you up. My footage shows, no, I wasn't. You mm. know what I'm saying? It shows there's no way in hell someone who's getting their shit taken or beat up or tried can walk around and do what I was doing. Was part of it that you wanted to maybe potentially help make a change in the prisons, like just by exposing exactly what was going on? Nah, I can't say that. <laughs> you just that don't shit, think there's any chance? Nah, it's never going to change. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I don't. I didn't intentionally do the videos to help change shit. Nah, I can't even try to take credit like that. But my content I do now is for that. You mm -hmm. see what I'm saying? Like I said, I don't rely on YouTube. I do my videos because so many people say they help them because I'm telling them what prison's really like in Florida. You don't so. rely on it, but were you motivated by the money? Like at a certain point, you start realizing? Nah, I've always, I've always learned how to get money in my life. You know what I'm saying? So it's just... You know, you never have all your eggs in one basket, you know, right. so, you know, but it's money helps, of course, but, and at the same time, it's like YouTube helped me, you know, because it keeps me out the streets, you see, mm. so like by me being on there, me trying to have the best realist content and stuff like that, you know, I'm learning things that I never learned, things I never knew, you mm. know what I'm saying, and it eventually it'll lead to bigger things, you know, like I got a gaming channel I be gaming to now, mm. that started after me learning how to use shit, you know, so now I be doing the gaming as well, so it's like YouTube helped me, so I feel like it's only right that I do the videos to help the people who watch it, Right. you know what I'm saying? When you <clears throat> got started, what was the kind of stuff that you were focusing on, like when you actually started to make content for YouTube, like what did you start with, just telling all your crazy ass stories? Uh, a little bit of that, yeah, like tell them what it's like that I know from my experience, like mm -hmm. a situation that I've been through, something I've seen go down, but I wanted to be different because that's what everybody does. Mm. Anyone who talks about prison and then they run out of content in like five, six videos. That's what Jake was saying is that, yeah. you know, he started out with that <laughs> shit and he realized real quickly, like, I got to figure out something else to make videos yeah. about. Because yeah, you'll eventually come to your you'll, you'll, you'll slow down. You see, yeah. you have the little slow moments, right? So a lot of people, what they do is since they're running out of the content and they ain't really got shit to speak on, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll drift. They'll do something different. You know what I'm saying? And uh, that's cool. That's more power to them. You feel me? But me, personally, the reason I don't, you know, is because my shit is for my subscribers. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I'd feel selfish if I were to get my subscribers up to where they're at and then just all of a sudden from K-Frog TV to K-Frog cooking and just start <laughs> cooking fucking videos like Snoop Dogg or right. something. You know what I'm saying? I'd feel 100% wrong. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of people out there who got a lot of views on showing how, how people eat in prison. Like, yeah. Check it out. I'm going to make a spread. It yeah. feels like a lot of those concepts that people got 10 million views doing like five, 10 years ago yeah. or whatever, a lot of that shit's just kind of out the window at this point because... And I ain't gonna lie, I seen a bunch of them and majority of them, we didn't have none of that shit in our... Oh, prison. really? <laughs> yeah, so it's like, I'll see this shit and be like, I wish we had that. We don't have that. The you know Florida what version would be a lot more depressing. Oh, yeah, definitely. Mm. It's like walking in the Dollar General. Everything you see in Dollar General is <laughs> basically like what we got. <laughs> For sure. So, so I mean, how do you keep it interesting still talking about prison shit while you're, you know, you're very far removed from it at this point? Like, how do, how do you approach it? Well, just because I know it, there's people that rely on it, mm. you see, because a lot of times 
I do the videos, and as long as it's getting someone's attention, you know what I'm saying, and the comments that people say in there and everything, it kind of motivates me because it's like, yeah, here I had to go through prison, which is like, you know, it was me at my worst, mm -hmm. you know, and they're, they're entertained and they like the shit that I had to go through, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And really it wasn't all fun and games, even though some of it was, but at the same time, the more people I could touch with the content, the more I, I'm going to keep on dropping it, you know? Mm. Because if I was focused on just me, if I was like, if YouTube was just strictly about me, then of course I would have did what everybody else does and just run because they're still worried about their self. They just drift. They just all, because it's all them, 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 them. Mm. But my prison channel is for other people. It's for the viewers, you know what I'm saying? I can't make everybody happy. I say something to the left, people on the right feel some type of way. You know, it, it goes, is it kind of mm -hmm. odd still making content like that when a lot of people, like they'll go in, they'll do two, three years in prison, whatever it is, and then they just kind of, they move past it. You, like They, well, they, they I, don't really want to talk about it. They, they want to get past it. For you, you've kind of got this whole business now, or not business, but this platform, and the whole audience is interested in that. Thing. They're not really yeah. like if you were to just be making happy videos of you with your, your kids or whatever, doing fun family shit, going to the water park. I mean, they didn't really subscribe for that. Right. That might no. be a challenge to get them yeah. to even give no. a fuck, you know? Yeah. And it's like a lot of times the shit that'll make you happy, the viewers ain't feeling, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Or or it either goes one way or the other. Either they just want negativity. You got people that follow just for that negative energy, you know, that want to see some shit go down and want to amp some shit up, you know, stuff like that. Or you got the ones that really like you as a person. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Like, at the end of the day, it don't really matter how many viewers somebody has or anything like that. You can't force no one to subscribe if they don't like that individual. Mm. You see what I'm saying? If they ain't feeling who that person is, they're not going to hit that button or right. subscribe. So with my content, I do it for my viewers, right? you know, because it's strictly my prison shit's just for them. I'm more into my gaming I do. Right. You know what I'm saying? If I wanted to, people are like, oh, why you don't do reactions and this and that? I would, like I said, I feel like I would be trying my viewers if I if they rode with me this long and then I just switch on over to some shit like that. Mm -hmm. I'd end up making how I got K Frog TV and K Frog Gaming. They're both on YouTube. I'd end up making K Frog reactions or so. I'd make a whole nother channel mm. before I just switch my whole shit you know what i'm saying but a lot of like the prison youtuber type dudes <laughs> sort of become like i'm gonna react to street shit in general like i'm just gonna talk about other people's politics this rapper gets killed boom i'm i'm talking about it. i'm giving my opinion on it yada yada but a lot of times when you watch it you're like uh this video is 10 minutes long and you definitely didn't have 10 minutes majority worth of, of shit them, to say majority of them that are actually considered part of the prison genre are yeah. not even the prison genre you know it's so watered down and different now mm. that they're in a different category you mm. get what i'm saying that's how i look at it like there's you know i can't really think of anyone that i feel like oh is 100 percent with prison shit you know what mm. i'm saying they just doing something totally different but they claim their prison genre you know right. what I mean? so i just you know, I want to be different, so I'm just, I'm going to keep going on doing it, you know what I'm saying? Like, people make vlogs. Imagine if you were a vlogger in prison. It's just, like, the worst recipe for videos you could imagine because every single day would be exactly the same. Exactly. You know? I mean, crazy shit would happen, but, you know. And then, like, with reactions, you know, all it takes is, you know, copyright, copyright, copyright. There mm -hmm. goes your channel. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, why would I grind with people who were truly there for me, get up here and then swap out on them, and then the few that do stay because they like me, I get banned, boom, 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 get hit with some copyright strikes later on down the line. Have you had that happen yet? I've had a copyright strike. Just Two a times. strike, not, not they haven't managed to take your shit down? Nah, not my channel. But. Right. Okay, guys, we want to thank you so, so much for getting us to 100,000 subscribers right here on the Clips channel. If you want to support, please click that subscribe button. We're trying to get to 200K. Thank you. Thank you so much.